up guys, time for another YouTube review. Woo, like and subscribe. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Okay, so anyway, uh, what we're looking at today is the Jiro Empire ACC. It looks like this. I wanted to do a review of these because I've had them now long enough where I've been able to form a really good opinion of them. And I just want to tell you what I think so far. So first off, I've been riding uh, specialized shoes for a long time. I've gone through three pairs. My last pair was an S-Works pair. I had to get a new pair of shoes this, this season and in February I started looking seriously at these. At the time I was kind of focused on Criterium and it looked like I saw quite a few Criterium racers were, were running these uh, Giro Empires and so I started looking around for them and they're really easy to find on sale. I ended up getting these for I think around about 80 something dollars on eBay. First off, what do you get? In the box you get this shoe bag that's pretty much useless, just a waste of plastic because you're nylon. You're never going to use this. I mean, well, I'm never going to use a shoe bag. I just throw my shoes in my bag or throw them in the back of the car or whatever. But I guess if you're really, you know, like that kind of person that would put your shoes in a bag, then you need this. Uh, you also get some extra uh, midsole, different, some midsole uh, inserts. And um, I think you get, uh, oh yeah, look at this. You get some white laces if you prefer white instead of black laces. And you get some little bolts that I have no clue. I guess you can put those inside the bolts. Um, I don't know. I didn't really understand what those bolts were for. And of course you get the Giro shoes. And so first off, what strikes most people is that you don't see lace up road bike shoes very often. In fact, I've never owned a pair of race, uh, lace up road bike shoes. Every bike shoe I've ever owned has had some kind of Velcro strap, some kind of ratchet buckle system or a boa. The last two shoes I've had, I've had boas. I came to really like boas, but I kind of wondered if maybe a couple issues I was having, especially later in the rides, weren't caused by the BOA system and the fact that it only like uh, only really attaches, only really pulls from about a few, you know maybe like two or three places. You get seven um, adjustment points on this shoe with the laces. And I mean honestly there's no system better than laces to just get a perfect custom fit because there's seven different places where those laces can adjust. So we'll talk a little bit more about comfort and fit in a minute. First off, I just want to kind of discuss the shoe in general. It's very plain and I really like that. It has no stupid plastic crap on it. Stitching is extremely minimal. You've got a little stitching on the back. You've got this little kind of reinforcement over the heel. Um, and, and you got some stitching around the uh, uppers here, around the top. That's about it. They feel really high quality. Like the leather feels really good. The um, materials, the padding inside feels really springy and stout and really good. Um, just overall, the shoe has a really good feel. It's got Easton EC90 uh, bottom soles, and they are like super stiff. And um, we'll just talk about stiffness really quick. I don't, I've rode a lot of different shoes. I can't really tell that much difference between something that's not that stiff and something like this that's very stiff or maybe something that's even stiffer. Um, I can tell a difference when I get on like something that's more of a, a mountain bike shoe and you can kind of feel your pedal kind of, or your shoe kind of wrapping around the pedal a little bit, but very minimally. I, I just honestly don't think stiffness is that big of a deal. Maybe for Mark Cavendish. Uh, when he's trying to beat Wout Van Aert in a sprint, but um, for me, not that big of a deal. I've put 1300 watts into these and they were like crazy stiff for me. I didn't feel like um, stiffness was going to be an issue. One year of use and they're, they could be cleaned up. And that's another thing, they're easy to clean because you don't have a bunch of little, you know, like sewn on stupid crap that you have to try to clean around. You just wipe the surface off and they look really clean again. Uh, let's talk about the fit. That's the most important thing really. With laces, when you pull the shoe on, you, you loosen up all the laces, like always, and you slide the shoe on, and then you kind of have to tug the laces a little bit, pull them like normal, and then you've got a lot more custom fit than say something like your BOA that maybe like pulls from a few different places. I truly think that's the best part of this system. Now the negative of the system is that you actually have to do that. And putting on the shoes with BOA is as simple as just oops, slipping it on, crank, 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 you're ready to go. With these, you do have to spend a little bit of time putting your shoes on. Um, ultimately, I think it's a trade-off that's worth it because in the end you get a better fit. And here's a big, big improvement for me. 
throughout the ride, they always feel the same. They feel the same at the beginning. They feel the same at the end. Uh, you don't have that need to adjust. Like I start wanting to tighten my shoes after like maybe an hour, they feel really loose. And then maybe another hour, they feel loose again. I don't know what causes that, but with these, I've never had to do that. They just always pretty much the same. You get them tight at the end of the ride, they're still tight. Um, Giro sizing is something you need to watch out for because they are just a little bit on the small side. I got 45.5. I usually ride 45s with Specialized. These are a little smaller than Specialized. Um, I kind of think I should have got 46. My right foot's a little bigger. It probably needs 46. My left foot's probably pretty happy with the 45.5. But ultimately, after a few rides, I feel like it kind of stretched a little bit and it's pretty comfortable. I'm not complaining. I've done a century on these. The century was fine. I've done a few races. I've done uh, lots of group rides and I've done lots of just chilling rides uh, with Shauna pretty slow and they've all been fine. So. Um, really the only negative for me on this shoe is just that having to lace up the shoe and adjust it, which is also probably its biggest positive. I don't use them for every ride, especially if I, if I'm not that worried about, you know, like if it's a shorter ride, I'll just grab my Boas, uh, S works that are falling apart and I use them. Um, if it's going to be a longer ride or if it's something where I more care about the performance, then I go with these. Um, replaceable. Forgot to mention that. Super good. You can replace that. You can't replace the front ones though. So that kind of, I think that should have been replaceable too. No other issues. They don't get too hot. You got a little bit of cooling, even though I don't think that really accomplishes much, but there is like a little air channel through the sole. One other thing I noticed, and, and uh, it's not a lot, but maybe they're like two or three millimeters thinner than uh, the Specialized I've been running. So I could possibly tiny bit lower my saddle, but I've not, I've not felt the need to, but just, I oftentimes notice these feel a little bit, um, a little bit lower. So I know that Giro makes an SLX version of this shoe, which is extra super light. They're about 300 bucks, but I think you can find them on sale often. I don't know why you'd want a lighter shoe. I think it's probably stiffer too. I don't know why you'd want a stiffer shoe. But these are really light. They're definitely the lightest shoes I've ever owned. They feel like nothing. I mean, they feel like, like those super light track shoes that you might see. Just super, super light. I don't know what they weigh. I don't really care. They're just super light. They also make a VR90, the Empire VR90. And that shoe has a Vibram sole with some rubber you know, grips on the bottom. It's more of a walking sole. And um, it's for gravel or mountain biking. And I think that would be a super good shoe for somebody who's in there, a lot of gravel, long gravel rides. Um, it has a two cleat system, so SPD cleats on those, um, but, or whatever, and a great, great shoe. So no complaints. Trust me, if you're worried about these coming loose, I've never had them come loose. They have this genius little system right here. I don't know why more shoes don't have this. Uh, I usually double knot my tennis shoes, but with these, I don't double knot them or anything. It's just got this little rubber, it's got this little stretchy uh, elastic that you put your laces under and it grips them. They're always there at the end of the ride. They've never come loose. Never had an issue with a lace getting stuck in the pedal or something. So just absolutely a great bargain. If you can find them like I did for around a hundred bucks, I think they're an awesome shoe bargain. I would imagine these are going to outlast a lot of shoes that have a lot more like crap on them. Boas, I mean, they'll send you replacements, but they break. I mean, they wear out. You have to, the, the laces break um, over time. Ratchet systems wear out, and I've never really cared much for ratchet systems. They're annoying. I would much rather just have these laces. So 100% are recommended. See ya.